So today we're at the opening ceremony by the Water Pier 57 and I was asked by Cool Hunting to put the show together on fashion and technology. We brought in our, our friend Dr. Sabine Seymour to curate a show of both wearable technology and great examples of how tech has been used to build fashion products. Motorola has just launched the Moto X, which is an awesome new phone and really the first example of uh, what the company can do now that they're owned by Google. One of the projects is called Chump. This phone is connected via Bluetooth to a sneaker. So if you jump once, twice, or three times, it actually either goes to Twitter or it goes to a Facebook page or to your tags on Google Maps. The technologies that we have right now have been moving from being stationary and or handheld devices to actually things that we can wear on the body. Thus, we do need fashion. We need aesthetics, we need ergonomics, we need to understand the psychology of wearing an item. We have two projects by Ying Gao. The robotics engineering is done by Simon Laroche. It actually changes its shape when there is you know, somebody in its closest proximity and so it actually starts to really move. And this one is sound activated. Hello. What I'm wearing here is called the orchestra scarf. It's designed by Bless and engineered by Pop Collab and it actually enables me to create my own soundscape. So I can close the button, switch it on, and here the sound comes out from here. And by using the five different closures, I can actually play five different tracks. So as you can hear, I have a soundscape going on, and if I want, if I'm daring, I can close it differently and create a different soundtrack. Everything that we're showing here is straight from the labs of the artists and the designers who've created them. They're all prototypes. Everything is, is proof of concept. It's important that we enhance our garments and create a new functionality. New functionalities uh, have been created in the sportswear, um, in other industries all the time, and it's just a matter of time. I don't think that the first uh, cell phone we ever had was as fashionable as it might be right now. This opportunity with Motorola around the launch of the Moto X was the right fit for Cool Hunting to be at Fashion Week because it gives us an opportunity to express some of the collisions that we're really excited about, in this case, the collision of fashion and technology.